Welcome to Vesterheim Museum's textile storage. We have about 5,500 textiles in the collection, and that can be household and decorative textiles, also clothing and clothing accessories. We store the objects in a couple different ways, hopefully the way that will be uh, the best way to preserve those kinds of items. We have a lot of flat textiles in the collection, and so uh, many of these are stored rolled. This allows the fibers to relax, and it also allows us easy access to the pieces. Here you can take a peek at some of the collection. These are hand-woven wool coverlets from Norway. Many families brought these uh, as bedding on board the ship in the days when uh, passengers were required to bring their own bedding. And these weaving techniques are often the kinds that we have uh, taught in our folk art classes here at Vesterheim. We keep them uh, covered from the light and the dust with some muslin covers and the tubes, which are cardboard, are protected uh, with acid-free paper so that uh, that stays off the textiles as well. For our garments, many of these are hanging if they're in good condition. And um, we've got usually fairly wide hangers for pieces if we can. Sometimes we make specially padded hangers and for the most part keep some of the parts together. These are some uh, Boo Nodder Norwegian folk costumes and we keep the blouse together with the dress. However, if there are pieces that don't stay on, stay on the hanger well like an apron or um, a breastplate or some different accessories, those are stored separately. It was maybe a little bit uncommon for Norwegian immigrants to bring entire outfits of folk costume, but many of them brought individual pieces as a way to remember their own lives or maybe the person who had made it. So the drawers work very well for lots of our small and separate pieces. And so, for example, we have a drawer of bands. These are used in Norwegian folk costumes for belts, for hair ribbons, for sock garters. And so the drawer works very well for these. We can uh, roll them. Um, fold them as necessary. And in this uh, drawer we have breastplates. These are loose pieces but they're either tucked or pinned inside the front of the bodice from some of the folk costumes especially on the west coast of Norway and these work very well in drawers as well. Another nice thing about the drawers is not only is it an easy way to store these small loose pieces but these are the kinds of objects that many people come to see and it's easier than when they're in a drawer, we can just pull this open. We utilize boxes, acid-free boxes, for some kinds of objects, especially hats or caps. Uh, those don't get as much use, and so the box storage works pretty well for them. 3D items, it's often helpful to have some tissue paper tucked inside to keep the shape so they don't get too squashed or pinched or creased, and that's what's happening inside the boxes that you can see. And again, the drawers work great for all kinds of small objects. Uh, we have mittens and gloves, stockings, and drawers work well because they're small and also because people are always coming to see our knitwear collection. Three-dimensional objects sometimes take some special shaping. This is good for caps, but also shoes, because if we don't have some padding inside, the shoe tends to collapse and then can become damaged where there are creases. So we use some acid-free paper and tuck them inside way down to the toe, and full but not too full, just to keep the shape together well. But this works for all kinds. So here are some wedding shoes from America from the 19-teens. There are lots of wonderful pieces in the collection, either with interesting stories or with interesting techniques and details. And the latter is one I want to show you now. This is a man's outfit from Voss, Norway, in Western Norway. And we have moose skin knickers, and we have a lamb's leather vest, and there are lots of wonderful details. There's some careful sewing on the vest where two lines of stitching cause the leather to be raised to make this beautiful floral pattern. There are coin buttons and a handwoven back. And of course, Muth's leather knickers are always a fun thing. The knickers came to us with a pair of suspenders that have initials and the date of 1767 on them, or 1762. And according to some sources in Norway, they have no complete suspenders of this type. So the only known pair of complete suspenders from this vintage are here at Vesterheim Museum.